Oh, hey. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Well, today's episode on what you got cooking outside, we're going to go over cooking outside. And we're going to go over how to keep bears from getting in what you're cooking outside. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. So check it out. So today, I decided to come up to Hidden Falls. One of my friends said he was coming up here with his RV and his Jeep and he's going to be up here for the weekend. So I decided to come up here and track him down for a few hours. Now today, I only have like three or four good hours maybe to come out here and have a little bit of fun. But I'm going to try to find him in that little bit of time and have a little bit of fun. You know what I mean? And I didn't eat breakfast because I left out this morning. So I decided to bring my camping gear and throw a few sausages on there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, cook a little breakfast. That's what I'm doing. Now, for some odd reason, I can't find my air down tool. So I'm going to have to old school this bad boy today and let that air out the old way. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to take a minute. But with that cooking, it'll give me a chance to air down and disconnect and everything. Another thing I'm going to do today, even though they have air stations out here hitting falls, I have that four-way hose that I built for that compressor that I bought, that maxi track. And what I'm going to do, that'll give me a chance to test it out and see how long it takes to air all four of these tires up at once. And so that's what I'm going to do. So when I get ready to get off this thing, I'm going to show y'all my hose that I built that I keep calling a hot ball a mess and hook it up and see how it works. So let me finish airing down, disconnecting, finish my food. Let's get on the trail and do some stuff. See y'all in a minute. Peace out. So I got to tell y'all, if y'all ever go down to Florida and y'all get a chance to roll through Gainesville, so when I went back home, old man, right, my dad, and uh, we rolled up to Gainesville, went in the city, and uh, we went to this little uh, store. It's on Hawthorne Road in Gainesville. If anybody ever been through that, you know what that is. And there's an auto zone on Hawthorne Road. Right across the street from the auto zone, there's like this little store I mean, you wouldn't even know it's there, like a little tiny strip mall that you probably wouldn't even know the store was there. You roll by there, you probably think the store was closed down. But in that little store, it's like a little convenience store, but they sell um, meat and everything that they got going on in there. Like, they make their own meat, their own uh, bacon and, and sausage and everything. So my dad loves this sausage, and he said, you got to go in there and try some of this sausage and this uh and this bacon they got up in there. Man, look, they got this thick cut bacon. They got this homemade sausage. They call it Alabama sausage. I don't know what they put in this sausage, but man, this sausage is on point. That thick cut bacon they got is on point. It, I'm telling you. So if you ever get a chance to go through Gainesville, roll up through there, you know what I'm saying? Go to the place, go check it out. Hawthorne Road, Cross Street Moto Zone. I don't even know the name of it. Little old tiny convenience store. You gotta look for it it's directly across the street because you'll miss it, I'm telling you. Look like ain't nothing there. Check it out. Grab some bacon up out of there, grab some sausage up out there, go home, cook it up, go back and buy some more. Let me finish what I'm doing to eat this, because I'm doing too much talking.
All you gotta do is pick a line. You don't need none of that extra stuff. Get your skills up, pick a line. What's that? You got a little toys. Yeah. Sometimes I go a lot of places by myself, so yeah. I don't want to get stranded. Yeah. I want y'all to see this. My man back here only have two-wheel drive. We thought he was just in two-wheel drive and had four-wheel drive, but he's only got two-wheel drive. But I gotta give him credit for coming out here and doing it. So, they about to winch him up with the XJ. Let's watch. Oh, you're the one screaming. Yeah, that's probably her. <laughs> I would not do well, that. Well, somebody lied then. Yeah. four-wheel drive he just wasn't putting it in because sometimes I'll do something stupid and try to two-wheel drive but he's only got two-wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go. There you go. Bring it back. There you go. Oh, got him. Got him. Now you gotta go down, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Audio, try it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, but you didn't get it. Hey, give me that camera. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> If you've ever watched any of my videos on YouTube, somewhere on there, I will fall. Change your life, YouTube? Change your life? Somewhere on one of my videos, I fall. Never fail. I'm going to watch them now. See? I always fall. I've been out here for a couple hours and I haven't failed yet. I haven't failed yet, so I'm doing good. Well, here's the here, here we go. Come on in that Bronco. Come on. You can do it. Bring it on, you got a Bronco, come on. Come on with it. Don't be scared. Yeah, that Bronco got it, he got it. Don't let these Jeeps make you look bad, come on. That's how you peer pressure people into doing something they shouldn't be doing.
Oh God, please don't let this guy flip that team. Oh, well, there we go, there we go. There we go. That's how, that's how it's done right there. Come on. Don't let that Bronco make you look bad. Come on. People gonna learn not to listen to me. I peer pressure you into doing something you probably shouldn't be. Come on. You can do it. Don't let that Bronco make you look bad. Come on. If he damages the Jeep, I'ma just walk off. Did he go around to the right or he went straight behind that? Uh... He went to the right. But this is that first step, couple steps are pretty good for a stock vehicle. Oh. The Jeep went to the left. It's, it's pretty gnarly at the top. It's like a three or four foot. How come I never do that? The right and the Bronco should be able to. I think I'm going to have to go up there now. Jeep, you can do that. Easy, bro.
There we go. Woo! No frenes, no frenes tanto. Cruza a la izquierda, eso. Bello. Perfecto. Cruza a la izquierda, cruza a la izquierda. Ok. Más, más a la izquierda, más a la izquierda. A la izquierda. Vente para acá, vente para acá, vente para acá. Ahí está la izquierda, vente para acá. Hacia la izquierda, dile que cruza a la izquierda, papi. Yeah, no. You gotta listen. Yo, yeah. But Ooh. Yeah, no. But, but. Toyota is this. Yeah. It's full solid for Yeah. But it's, very, it's very hard. So every time lift one time. Right. Yeah. Not like a Jeep where you got. Yeah, no. In yeah. my country, everybody has Toyota. Really? Yeah, it's gonna swell up. There you go. Yeah, you good. Stay straight. Stay straight. You good. Perfect. That, my friends, was the North Pole. Uh, I had to play with it a little bit, change my line up a little bit, uh, move a little bit side to side, get it to grip in the right spot, move around on rocks, but uh, I got it up here. It's all about skill, man. I ain't saying I'm the best, but I ain't the worst either. And it's all you gotta be is not the worst. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. All right, y'all, still at Hidden Falls. Got to get out of here because I got things to do, place to go, but I've been out here chit-chatting with my man, John, and uh, just talking about Jeeps and, and just life. And I'm telling y'all, this is what I go to the trails for. It's fun going out and doing the rock crawling, having a little bit of fun, but it's the people you meet that makes your day. And if you go out to the trails, you don't meet nobody, you don't have no fun, you don't do none of that, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Enough.
And you got this clean Mojave back here? Wait a minute. Let me let me let me swing around so y'all can see. Yeah. Now, the reason I showed you my man's Mojave, I thought I'm the only one that drives all over this country, Texas, the Florida, South Carolina, Virginia. But my man right here, I think he got me beat. <laughs> yeah. South Dakota. North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Chicago, Illinois, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, <laughs> Kentucky. Yeah. And that's just since December, right? Yep. <laughs> I got to step up my game. I got to step. People like this make me look bad. Y'all watch. Y'all watch. Next video, I might be more. Nah. Uh, okay. East Jeep Safari. I'll be there then. But. Now, but uh, yeah, I just chit chat with my man John. But uh, I gotta get out of here. It was nice meeting him, yeah, and uh, my man right here. Hope to run into him again out here. This is what I come for. So y'all stay with us. Peace out, y'all. All right, y'all, has a fun out in the trail, but I got an air up, and it'll be the first time I get to use this four-way air thing I got rigged up, so let's check it out. Here's the ball of mess, look at that, got it all neat and everything. Now I haven't had a chance to run the wires for the compressor up front to anything yet, but I do keep an extra battery back in the back of my Jeep for emergency purposes and just so if I need extra battery to run extra things when I'm camping and everything. So right now I'm just gonna use that, hook everything up, digital gauge, gonna get it right. Look at that, aired up all four tires in less than four minutes. That's what's up. Let me get this stuff off here so we can get out of here. All right, y'all, so here's the deal. Came out to Hidden Falls today, tried to hunt down one of my buddies, didn't find him, but you know what? Still came out here and had fun. Did some crawling, did some walking, did some talking, but you know what? Had fun. And most of all, I got to meet some new people. Jeeps out of Austin, met my man from here in Texas, old Florida boy like myself, so had a lot of fun, always a good day, no complaints. And the best thing about Hidden Falls is when you come out here, you catch people from all walks of life driving all different types of vehicles, Nissans, Toyotas, Jeeps, Fords, whatever, just out here having fun. That's the best thing about Hidden Falls. So when y'all get a chance, make sure y'all come check this place out and have some fun. But I gotta get out of here, because I'm supposed to be somewhere and I'm late. So I catch y'all on the flip side. Peace out.